Now, we reach question 7. We are continuing the CSEC Mathematics May 2021 paper. Alright? So, we do most of the paper already. Now, you will see, say, as you go along, you know, in the past paper, the question then get harder. And then you have to do more work for the same amount of marks, right? Same number of marks. So, anyway, question 7. It says the first three figures in a sequence of shapes formed by a connecting lines of unit length. Unit length mean one. Right? Whatever one whatever it is. No you know business whether feet, inches, centimeter, meter, whatever. Unit length. Are shown below. Alright, so you see. There's a draw figure four of the pattern in the space provided above. Alright, I'm going to do I'm just copy this thing here and put it on the other screen. Right here so. Alright, so you see there. They say draw figure four of the pattern in the space provided above. Alright, we're going to see what figure four would that look like. So we'll come up. We'll just here just like these. Um Two, two wide it comes so this a height here yeah I see him as this and this it might look like house so we call them house alright yes now continue and next one here so Alright, this look like figure 3 and then figure 4. Have one next house side of the one there. Alright, so I figure 4 that. You see. Then it say the number of lines in each shape on the perimeter P of the shape follow as a pattern. Study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table below and answer the question that follow. Complete the table below showing the number of lines and the perimeter of each shape. Alright, I'm going to have to copy this thing here. Yeah? Put it over the next screen too. Let me try again. Alright, copy. Let me paste it over here so. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Come to me do a while ago, you know. Oh, I'm going to press a while ago. Oh, sir. Oh, see it now. Peace. Alright. Come on, put it down here, sir. So, let me pull down this right. Where am I going to put it? Could I put it up there, man? Alright. I'm going to make it stay right this alright. So sure. I'm going to put it down here. Right, there's some there put it. Alright, so let me send out fifty right in this space. Complete the table below show the number of lines and patterns of each figure. So we we'll see what happened. Figure 1, you have 6 lines, so the line them will be you have 1, 
And this is up there. Hold it now, we'll call it now. Hold this thing up. Alright, the line them. For the line them, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so you see the six line them. Right? And then the perimeter of five distance around. Because you have one, two, three, four, five. That's the perimeter. Alright, that's for figure one. Figure two. You have 11 line on the perimeter at 8. So how the 11 come up? Now. So you don't have the 11 line. Would that be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright. And the perimeter at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight. So you see, so that's the perimeter, and then figure three, 16 line perimeter 11. We can count, and you see 16 line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you have 16 line this up. And then the perimeter, 11. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright. So you see them this one. Alright, good. Now, what them say? Then they fold figure 4 now. Alright, figure 5. Figure 5 now. Alright. We now, have, we now have figure 5 drawn, we never draw it, so we have to find out some pattern. Figure 1, you have 6 line perimeter 5. Now, notice yourself, after you have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you minus 1. So for the perimeter, for figure 1, you have 6 minus 1 equals 5. Because you minus 1 of them, the line inside. Because you can't count that as a per in a perimeter. Figure 2, you have 11 line, you minus 8. Alright, so figure 2, you have 11 line. And you, no minus 8, you have a perimeter 8. Because with the perimeter, when you come to the perimeter, you will leave out this, this and this because then the inside, they don't know in the perimeter. So, uh, I will read it. 11 minus 3 equals 8. If you got 3, 16 and 11. So, the inside line would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them inside. 16 minus 5 give you 11. So it is 16 minus 5 equals 11. About figure 4 now. The how much line you have. If you start count from this up. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 line. So that would have been 21 minus, and the inside line them now would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a minus 7. Right? So 21 minus 7 would have been like 20 minus 6, that's a 14. Alright. So figure 5, what figure 5 would have been without drawing it? You're not supposed to draw figure 5. Supposed to tell them how much line. Alright, so 6. How oh, you come from 6 to 11 line? 6 line and 11 line. 
So if you have 6 line, then 11 line, then 16 line, then 21 line. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6, 7, 5, 11. So 6 plus 5. Oh. Right, it just so. 11. That are 6 plus 5. That are 11. The 16 or the 16 would have come about. A pattern where I look pan now. 11 plus 5 are 16. And then, write your son out. 16 plus 5 are 21. Alright. So, what that mean? Figure 5 now. Would that be? Have to be 21 plus 5. Equal, and you have 21 plus 5 at 26. So number of lines would have been 26. So if you figure 5, number of lines, this is how I say so, so far, would have been 26, right? You follow the pattern. How about the perimeter now? Alright, pattern again. Now, notice, if you figure 1, a 6 minus 1 gives you 5, right? Figure 2, 11 minus 3 gives you 8. But anyway, you can see what happened. 5 and 3, 8. The perimeter, 5 and 3, 8. 8 and 3, 11. 11 and 3, 14. So 14 and 3, 14, 15, 16, 17. Would have been 17. So just based upon the pattern, they expect 17 or so. What then the next thing is, then give one with number of lines 66. So how that one work? Alright, we have to see how that one work now. We have to come up with a general pattern or so. You see, figure 1, you start with 6. Now, 6, 2 is 12, and 12 minus 1 is 11. 11, 2 is 22, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, and 22. Alright. So you have to come up with some pattern. Figure 1. Suppose you say, you know, figure 1. How you get the 6 for figure 1? How you get the 11 for figure 2? How you get the 16 for figure 3? You have to come up with some type of equation. So you say now, 6. Try 2 by 3. 2 times 3 give you 6. How will you get to 11 now? The 11 for the number of line. Would that be... Alright. 2 times 3 is 6. And come up with a pattern. Suppose you say... I can two times something so so so. You're gonna have to say two times two or four plus two. Mm -mm. Two times three a six. Two times well, you get the six. You start with six, six and five, eleven. Now, 6 and 6, 12. Alright, let me see one next way. We could uh, try and come up with it. This is just 6. <coughs> Suppose you say 6 times 2 are 12. 12 minus 1 are 11. Where I try to get the 11? The number of lines, 11. Now, if that is the case, how do you deal with this? 6 times. 3 
at 18 minus 2. Oh, so this would have been 6 times 1. Uh, 6 minus 0. Start. See a pattern somewhere, so you know. If you come up with a pattern. And the number of lines we want. Because 6, 3 are 18. 18 minus 2 are 16. So where you come here, so now. And I say. A 21 line. So you say. 6 times 4 at 24. 24 minus 3 at 21. Oh, it look like a pattern start to build, you know. And the next one at 26. So 6 times 5 at 30 minus 4. Okay. So, you see pattern? We have 6 for figure 1. And if you double 6, and then drop down by 1, you get figure 2. If you triple 6 and drop down by 2, take off 2, you get figure 3. 6 by 4, quadruple 6. 6 by 4, drop off 3, you get 21. Figure 4. And figure 5, would well, have 26 lines. So, it look like, say, what happened here, so? Is that you say six times the pattern. So you have figure one is a six times one. Figure two are six times two. Figure three are six times three. Figure four are six times four. So figure five are six times five. So figure a, 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 a figure say n a six times n. You see? And then you minus something now. Figure one you minus zero. Figure 2, you minus 1. Oh, so you minus 1 less than the figure. Figure 3, you minus 2. Figure 4, you minus 3. Figure 5, you minus 4. So you have minus n minus 1. Whatever the figure is. Right? So I have 6 times n minus n minus 1. And that would have equal to how much lines you have. Right? Let's see. So you can simplify this answer as 6n minus n minus 1. That would be 6n minus n plus 1 when you open the bracket. 6n minus n plus 1. But 6n minus n are 5n. So that would be 5n plus 1. We'll see if we work out. 5n plus 1. The number of lines supposed to be 5n plus 1. But we see if it really work out so for true. Right? Figure 1. 5, 1, 5, and 1, 6. Alright. Figure 2. 5, 2, 10, and 1, 11. Figure 3. 5, 3, 15, and 1, 16. Figure 5. 5, 1, 25, and 1, 26. Alright. Good. So it work out. You say any as so. So this uh, right here, uh, so you don't have 5n plus 1. Even though we're not doing the here, so yet. You can see the pattern. And then the perimeter now. Where oh, you get the perimeter. The perimeter, the perimeter, the perimeter. So the number of lines are 5n plus 1. The perimeter now. When you have the number of lines. Figure 1, you minus 1. Figure 2, you minus 3. Figure 3, you minus 5. Figure 4, you minus 7. Alright, so we have to figure out how the minus business then will come up with a perimeter. Right? Now, the perimeter, the perimeter, the perimeter. Figure 1, you minus 1. Figure 2, you minus 1 plus 2. Figure 3, you minus 3 plus 2. Figure 4, you minus. Hold on. Figure 1, you minus 1. Figure 2, you minus 1 more. 2 more. Oh. 3 are 1 plus 2. 
5 and 3 plus 2. Oh, 3 and 2, 5. 7. I seven your minus that's all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. I eat your minus, you know. I eat. That's all. The perimeter. Oh, the perimeter. You take off. All right, for this you take off five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, for this you take off one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven you take off each other. All right. So, one, figure out how much you take off from each. So, you figure 1, you minus 1. Figure 2, you minus 3. Look what you say. 2 times 1 are 2. 2 minus 1. Alright. You know, figure 1, you minus 1. That's a 2 times 1. Minus 1. Equal 2 minus 1 equal 1. Figure 2. You say 2 times 2 minus 1. 2, 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 are 3. Figure 3. A 2 times 3 minus 1. 6 minus 1 are 5. Figure 4. You take off 2 times 4. That are 8 minus 1 are 7. Okay. So, figure 1. You say 2 times 1 minus 1. Figure 2, 2, 2 is 4 minus 1. Oh, so you, the, the, the number of lines where you take off, you get the perimeter, is 2 times the figure number minus 1. So it's 2n minus 1. Okay. 2n minus 1. So, if you get the perimeter, you have the number of lines, but a 5n plus 1. And you minus 2 times the figure number minus 1. You see? 2 times figure 1, two, 2 times 1 minus 1. Figure 2, 2 times 2 minus 1. And these you take off. You subtract from the number of line. Figure 3, 2 times 3 minus 1. Figure 4. 2 times 4 minus 1. So figure n is 2 times n minus 1. So uh, you minus 2n minus 1. You can expand the bracket and simplify this. You put it down here. So, so the perimeter would have be 5n plus 1. That are the number of line. And you minus 2n minus 1. So that a 5n plus 1 minus 2n plus 1. You see, 20 in the bracket. What happened? So then, you say, 5n minus 2n plus 1 plus 1. So you get for that now. 5n minus 2n, that a 3n plus 1 and 1, 2. So this would have be 3n plus 2. All right, 3n plus 2. All right. So, write us on now. 5n plus 1 would have been 66. You see? So, you're going to find out what n be. So, 5n equals 66 minus 1. That is 65. So n would have been 65 over 5 equal 5, 12, 60, those are 13. So this would have been 13, n are 13. You see? And then, if n are 13, you can find the perimeter. 3 times 13 plus 2. 3 multiplied 3 by 13. 3, 3 is 9, 3, 1, 3. 39 plus 2 equals 40. 41. So the perimeter. That's all. Figure 13. 
the perimeter would have been 41. If you figure 13, okay. I see. Let me see something now. Write a simplified expression in terms of n for the difference between the number of lines and the perimeter of any figure. Between the number of lines and the perimeter. Let me copy this and put it over here. So. Right there, so how are you going? How are you going to pass APS, you know? I don't know why you put a few pieces up there, so. so anyway, I'll put it further down. Alright. So, write a simplified expression in terms of n for the difference d between the number of lines and the perimeter of any figure n. So you have the sign is number of line perimeter. So you see. So 5n plus 1. So that going to be 5n plus 1 minus minus 1 now. Minus 3n plus 2. Minus 3n plus 2. Alright. So now you want the brackets 5n plus 1 minus 3n for negative 1 times 3n and negative 1 times 2 giving the minus 2 all right good you see that all right so what you do now put the like term them together 5n minus 3n Equal 1 minus 2. No. Oh, good. Alright, let me do that part there again. Plus 1 minus 2. So D. This is D. Let me say D. D equal. 5N minus 3N. 2N. 1 minus 2. Or what? What? Minus 1. 2N minus 1. You don't get for that. Right? Alright, twice. Oh, good. So question seven done this all. Alright, so we move on to question eight next time.